naging problema namin nung start, sabi ni Chairman, hindi nila alam kung saan papadala ng sulat yung, uh, yung Uber. Eh. So it, we had a difficult time finding where, where, where they were operating from. So that made it difficult until nung time na, na that, sa, that we suggested, hey, let, let's just, uh, no, let's just uh, hire their services and, and, and see kung may franchise sila or not. Yes. Uh, so, so around what month did we start uh, telling the LTFRB na parang something's wrong? Siguro it, it, it became uh, known sa amin nung mga sometime March. Yeah. Pero sir, um, siguro kasi marami, on, at least online, there are very uh -huh. harsh reactions uh, to say the least. Way. Yeah, because a lot, uh, a lot of people na nagre-react online does not know kung ano talaga yung ano eh yung uh, yung, yung reason why we're objecting sabi nga namin we're, we're not objecting in the use of the technology in fact we've been using them we welcome them what we want is to level the playing field kasi lagi nilang sinasabi luma yung sasakyan nyo you know kaya lang naluluma yung sasakyan namin because we have an investment on the car ibig sabihin nun may overhead kami eh we're a registered business, we pay taxes, we're required to uh, to have a garage, we're, we're, we're required to to uh, to show our vehicles twice a year and pay supervision fees. Now, of course, yung sasakyan namin, hindi mo naman mababawi yung cost ng sasakyan and yung overhead mo in the span of two years. Minsan, it takes you six years. By that time, for one vehicle. So, at that time, syempre, naluluma rin yung uh, sasakyan. Unlike Uber, they, they used unfranchised private vehicle. So, sasabihin lang nila sa online, okay, if you have a, a vehicle, three years old above, you can register with, with uh, Uber. Tapos sasabihin nila, okay, we'll, we'll just see, kung may lisensya ka, kung meron kang comprehensive insurance, okay na, then you could drive for us. But they have no investment eh. So pag tumanda na yung auto, kunyari daw yung auto na 5 years old, ididilis lang nila. Sabi nila, dun sa may-ari ng auto na tinatawag nilang Uber partner, okay, you can no longer drive for us unless you buy a new vehicle. Eh, yung, yung tao na yun, yung Uber partner, does not have any investment na. Kasi auto niya yung ginagamit niya. He does not have to pay taxes. Di ba? He does not have to employ a dispatcher, a mechanic. He does not have to employ a a, uh, a cashier, an accounting staff. Unlike unlike kami, we're, we're required to, to do all that. It's a full company. So, so what kind of compromise? Because you said that you're not against technology, but you want to have, what kind of compromise do you see happening? Yung summon. They could use Uber if they want to to uh, to give out premium services. Ibig sabihin, new cars. They could use. They could tap the rental car. And nandyan yung Avis, nandyan yung Eurocar. Avis has brand new S-Class vehicles. They could use that. They they also have AUVs, SUVs, or yung mid mid uh, mid class sedans. Then tap them, de ba? Partner with them. It's unfair kasi yung at least yung rental car vehicles regulated yung number, yung dami and it's a legitimate cow company operating. There's there's someone who will be liable. Unlike Uber, Uber has a general disclaimer. We're not liable for anything. Okay? So kung may may pasahero na sumakay kunyari sa Uber vehicle and had a bad experience, kanino siya magko-complain? Sa LTFRB ba? Eh hindi nga sila registered sa LTFRB. So kanino pupunta? Nang sasabihin, sinabi sa online, okay, magkukomplain sila sa Uber. Tapos hindi napapayagan ng Uber magmaneho. <laughs> you know, it's... Parang ano eh, yung... Uh, parang don't you think it's so unfair? <laughs> na kami eh, highly regulated. It, ganun, we could also do that eh. Alam mo, gagaya ko, my company, Basic Taxi. I have 20 vehicles. Which, which, which is just in my garage, brand new vehicles, because I'm waiting for for the decision ng LTFRB sa aking uh, dropping and substitution. Ibig sabihin, yeah, yung, yung lumang sasakyan ko, gusto kong palitan ng bago. Ang requirement, bilin mo na while pinoprocess yung application. Franchised vehicle to, papalit mo lang. Galing sa lumang taxi, ililipat mo sa bago. And it takes a long process, a long time, two to four months. So in the meantime, nagbabayad ako sa bank, yung auto nandun lang sa garahe ko. I can't even use it to ferry, ferry passengers para naman ma-recoup ko yung binabayad ko. But Uber, 
ang gagawin lang nila, o oh, register ka online, pwede ka na bimahe. And then, what is also unfair? They regulate and control their own prices, fares. Ang, ang taxi operators, we have to petition, file for a fare increase if we want the fare to increase. The last fare increase given sa amin was four years ago, almost five years ago. We cannot just raise our, our, our fees or put it down. But Uber can do that just by a touch of a button. Paka ngayon, sabi nila, o oh, slow day ngayon dahil walang pasahero, it's a weekend. Okay, 20% discount on fees. Pagka naman uh, rush hours, sasabihin nila, okay, 20% 20 premium. So, di ba? It's so unfair. I'm sure but one of the complaints of um, people on Twitter naman po, parang um, you're pointing out yung at the price, but like, uh, based on their own experience, ang daming driver ng taxi po, parang bago ko pa sakayin, ay 50 muna, 100 muna, may mga ganong... How do we do? How do we solve that as a taxi operator? Taxi companies, responsible taxi operators, tries to control this. We don't tolerate it. In fact, tinatanggal namin. Once nagkaroon na kami ng, ng complaint about drivers na arrogant, discourteous, overcharging, tinatanggal namin. We don't allow them to drive anymore. That's why legitimate and responsible taxi companies suffer. Dahil nawubusa kami ng driver. That's why we, we have been appealing to LTFRB. Help us discipline the driver by regulating them also, by penalizing them also. Kaya bakit hindi na didisciplina ang driver? Pag kami driver na nag-overcharge, may magre-reklamo, ang penalty i-impose sa operator. It's not on the driver. Not, so, how can you discipline, how can a, a teacher discipline a student kung ang pinapalo o binibigyan ng mababang grade yung tatay, hindi yung estudyante? Uh, that's, eh, sadly, siyan sabi sa amin ng LTFRB, yung, yung jurisdiction nila is only on the operator and not the driver. So sabi namin, let's do it. Do it parang sa ibang bansa. Issue a professional public utility driver's license. So, so that, pagka wala ka niyan, hindi ka pwedeng magmaneho, hindi ka pwedeng i-hire. Then you could, we, we will be able to professionalize the taxi drivers. Pero until such time na tutulungan kami na, 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 ng gobyerno to help discipline the driver, hindi mangyayari yun. Kasi ang gagawin, pag may airing driver, sasabihin namin, oh, may complaint sa'yo, hindi ka pwede maglabas namin. Lilipat lang sa ibang kumpanya, pwede na maglabas. Or pagka talagang sabi namin, oh, totally, hindi ka na pwede. Nakadalawang complaint ka na, hindi ka na pwede, talagang pwede mag-drive sa akin. Gagawin niya, pupunta sa labor, illegal dismissal. So, saan mo ilalagay yung taxi operator? Yes,